I'm filming us right now. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> no, I had no, a, a pretty sweet idea for a movie. All right. Um, like, seeing as we're leaving Bolivia, everything we do now is basically on our way to see Tess. I was thinking we should just document it all and like throw it together and make a sweet little short documentary. Like getting our visas, getting the bus, being in Asuncion. And what's good is, <clears throat> for there we can, uh, Tess basically gave me like a tutorial on how to find her. So we'll just do every step of that and document it. And then when we find her, it'll be all exciting. Like, ah, surprise. That'd be sweet. Yeah, and like if we can surprise her, like get that on the documentary too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I we know when to start filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I figured it'd be sweet to start it with me telling you about the idea. Nice. So, it'd be kind of cool. Do it. Yeah. Do it now. Okay. We were in Sucre, Bolivia. And we were looking for Paraguayan visas. And we thought we could get them at the consulate there, but when we went to find the consulate, we found out that it had been closed for six months. So we went to immigration, talked to the guy. Ahora tú necesitas ir al Paraguay. Sí. Tenemos consulado paraguayo en Santa Cruz. Sí. Y tú para ir al Paraguay vas a ir necesariamente vas a pasar por Santa Cruz. He said that we had to go to Santa Cruz in Bolivia to do anything regarding getting into Paraguay. So we got on a bus for 15 hours overnight, one of the worst buses we've ever been on. Uh, we couldn't sleep because it was all off-road and way too bumpy. We couldn't read, we couldn't do anything. And we had like four inches of leg room, if that. And we finally got to Santa Cruz this morning without any sleep, and now we're looking to get our visas today. So hopefully we can. So we went to the Paraguay consulate, and she was like, the main lady there was like, it's going to take 24 hours to process your visa. But we're closed this weekend. It was Friday, and Monday's a holiday. So you're not gonna be able to get your visa till Tuesday. And we looked dejected as much as possible. She was like, well, if you hurry up and do this and this and this, then you can get your visa. So we hauled ass to the bank to pay our $200 for our visas and got new passport photos taken and went back and we actually managed to get our visas around noon. Then we uh, went to the internet shop and booked a hostel in Asuncion and headed back to the bus station and and then the four or five hours later, when it came time to actually get on our bus, the bus for our company didn't exist, or for the other one, and they told us it should be instead, so we had to like run back inside and say, there is no bus, and they asked around, and then it was this third company. So the bus changed names three times, and service class, and I think if we hadn't asked, they would have just tri driven away without us. But now here we are. Uh, we'll be in Asuncion in another half day. Okay, so uh, Carl and I are in Asuncion right now. And we just got here and we're checking out the city a little bit before we head to see Tess tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we'll actually be seeing Tess tomorrow. And we're really excited because we're, get, we're going to hopefully surprise her in her sight. Uh, we're leaving our uh, hostel in Asuncion and moving off of the Lonely Planet and onto the test guides. So the first uh, first instruction she gives is get to the Asuncion bus terminal by taking a, a colectivo that says Terminal in the front window. So, yeah. They know more than 15 mil guaranis to get a bus going to La Colmena. La Colmena? Say, say La Colmena. It's at 1.30. So we've definitely done uh, steps two, three, and four, which is basically get on this bus that we're on right now. And uh, we're on step five now. Um, we're a little behind schedule because the, uh, the bus to the terminal took us a bit longer than we thought it was going to. Get up a little early and we'll be in the plaza in a local minute. We got out the bus. This is uh, the plaza in La Colmena. So we achieved number five. <clears throat> from the plaza, take the street leading away from where you came. 
came from there, so I think. Yeah, yeah. I think but, you're right. Uh, she says, take that road away. It's between an hour and a half and two hours. Eventually, the paved road turns into rocks and into dirt. Where the dirt starts on the right. There should be a little wooden rectangle on the fence. These markers are every 100 meters. And count the meters that you've gone since the dirt road started. So we've gone 500 meters. Yeah. Keep walking and go through weird barriers or nothing, just like up in grazing, about a mile. You cross a bridge, keep walking. So freaking excited. We're like walking to Tess's village right now, or her site. She has no idea, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, she has an idea. But... Sunset. You think maybe we should stop and bust out some flashlights and this? And... Yeah, it's getting pretty dark. <laughs> You'll go up a little hill and see a sign on the right that says, Welcome to Martinez Quay. Oh, it's dark. You even see me? Barely. There, I found mine. Yeah. Uh, there we go. It works. All right. At the top of the next hill, welcome to Potrero Garay. We're close. Yeah, there's no sign, but uh, you'll find it when you get there. Keep walking. Only a mile to go. Sweet. After the fancy house with weird lawn ornaments, you'll see kilometer marker 7.8 on the fence to the left, and just after a gate in the in the wire fence. Follow the little footpath. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. Oh no. Uh, there will be a citrus tree on your left. You know what a citrus tree looks like? Yes. Okay. And you keep walking. You'll pass around a, around a giant mango tree on your right. Do you know what a mango tree looks like? Nope. Keep walking. Soon you'll see nine to twelve little baby banana trees on your right. At the end of the banana trees, look to your left. The, there the path veers, and you'll follow an even harder to see path to the left. Are you joking me? <laughs> no. You'll keep walking and see um, a big mango tree up ahead, and beyond that is my house. You'll probably see my garden first, or my bamboo fence around my garden in my bathroom, and to the right of that is my house. So. Dude, we are so freaking close. Like, <laughs> we have to be, we have to be. We have to be. We have to be super quiet, be super quiet. Okay, well, whisper, whisper, yeah. whisper. Like, my hands are shaking, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> All right, that's fucking Duffy, dude. Let's go find her. She's asleep. Do you hear anything? No. She's gotta be either asleep or not around. Maybe she's in a sensation still. You're <laughs> <laughs> <That would be laughs> awful. <laughs> Weeks in here. Turn, turn on the light. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Paraguay. <laughs> Definitely not here. You sure this is her place? Uh, yeah. Look. Test up. You can see me. Nice. It's weird. It's not even open. Sweet machete. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. All right. Definitely not here. 
Let's go talk to one of our neighbors or something. See if we can find her. I hope we can find her. I hope she's not in the I don't want to go all the way back to Lockwood, Maine. Ready? Yeah. Okay. How the hell are we going to find her? Uh, I guess let's just head back to the road and uh, ask someone. I just want to ask. Oh, yeah, we can ask your neighbor. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully your neighbors are around. Yeah, she said, I mean, in the direction, she said they would be. Yeah. Yeah, here's someone. Yeah. I got a pee, though. Uh, I think I see him. Oh, shit, yeah. That's super sketchy. Who the hell chops wood in the dark? Um, I don't know. Paraguayans? Welcome to Paraguay. You want to go ask him where Tess is? Not particularly. We have to ask somebody. Oh, God. It's going to be sketchy no matter what at this point. Seriously. I'm going to pee real quick. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. Disculpe, estoy buscando una amiga que vive cerca de acá. Disculpe. Tess? Well. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Dude, what? Yeah. It's fucked up. Where's Tess? That was Tess. What? Yes. But it's not... Me? Tess. I'm gonna go talk to her. Nah, dude, we need to go back to La Colmena and get help or something. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go talk to her. Fuck. It's fucked up. Huh? Yeah. Tess. Ah! Fuck. Hi, Tess. <laughs> we just got here. Oh we just walked all night. You're in Bolivia right now. No. Hey, Carl. Oh. So good to see you. So. Welcome to my house. Hey, this is the crib. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we documented everything coming to find you. <laughs> um, but we were kind of just filmed like the alternate ending that's like. We showed her in the credits, and we were wondering maybe if you had a machete. I for of the, course I have a machete. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. <laughs> yeah.